Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to explore a bit more into water, the water element, particularly as applied to Taiji Chuan and, and internal martial arts, and, um, and extend from that into Anjin or the push in, in, in Taiji postures. So um, the we're not quite there yet, but we're moving in the direction of winter. And that's when the, that's the season of water. So good idea to start getting kind of in, in the mood. Um, we're phasing out of the metal element and moving into the, into the water element. And so that's governed by the kidneys and the urinary bladder. Um, so the, um, and the, the, the important part about, about winter is that it's a season of slowing everything down. So we've gone from the super young of summer, which is fire, into earth, which kind of evens things out. And then it starts to move in a, a yin direction uh, with metal in, in the fall. So that's a season of letting go and, and starting to throw away anything that's unnecessary. And then as we move more and more into the yin, we hit the, the deepest pool of yin, which happens around the, uh, the shortest day of the year, which you know, every, uh, around the, the winter solstice. And, and, the, and so that begins a period of, of, of deep yin. And that's where we're contracting and bringing everything in. And um, it's a time of regeneration. It's a time of slowing it down and allowing the body mind to engage in the stillness. So last week we talked about the Wu Wei and the Wei Wu Wei. And this is more the Wu Wei as aspect here, the not do is where we're kind of slowing things down and, and collecting. And as a result of that, you start to gather that water energy, which then nurtures your kidney and urinary bladder and your kidney gin, which is, uh, which is um, your, your kidney essence, which is uh, your jing. And it, um, this is the source of vitality. And uh, it feeds the rest of the, the, the cycle. So by establishing that really strong yin presence, then it uh, gives you a fertile ground in which to grow and expand outward again in the coming year. So I, I wrote down a few notes about uh, the, um, some of the aspects of, of the water element from a, a psychological aspect, you know, and it, um, when it's unbalanced, we have a sense of uh, isolation. There's uh, absent-mindedness, um, indecisive. If you're having trouble making decisions, that's that's an indicator that your kidney gin, kidney jing is weak, and you want to uh, uh, you want to kind of give some attention to that. If uh, you're fearful, that's uh, another aspect of that, uh, being it out of uh, out of balance. On a physical level, there's uh, rigid joints no vitality, weak knees, lower back problems, and uh, premature aging. So these are things that qualities that, that your, if your kidney uh, is, is weak, your kidney power, your essence is weak, then you're gonna tend to start to feel older than you are. And um, so, and by take honoring the season, you start to turn that around. The um, so that's that's kind of on a physical and a psychological level, which um, we've covered before, and I don't want to do too much into that right now. I'd like to talk more about the um, um, water as a as an energy, particularly in terms of application in Tai Chi and in um, the internal martial arts. So the qualities of, of water energy, water chi is 
it's wave-like, it's continuous and whippy. It is a spiraling kind of energy. So there's a, has that, that quality to it. There's a, it is flowing, it, um, it, it's long. In other words, uh, metal energy is short. It's a short gin, bam. Whereas water energy extends, it's long. And uh, it's also springy. So there's a, a quality there of, of uh, springiness. There's, you know, um, uh, responsiveness. Um, and it's also formless. So these are all qualities of, of, the, of the water energy. So just by contrast, let's say to, to metal, metal, we have a very short gin, it's abrupt. It's moving from yang to yin, so it's it's it, there's a, a sense of of compression, of condensation, and so when we reach that yin state, it's like it's more flowy and 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 smooth, but at the same time, it has a capacity to to get uh, uh, into uh, a whip like. Uh, energy. So uh, the cultivating that as an individual quality in your body, mind, in your form, into, into your actions, just so you're aware of it whenever it's happening is, is kind of a, an important thing to develop as you get deeper into this stuff. So we're, we're in the deep end of the pool anyway, with uh, we're just by talking about this in this way. But I think it's important to uh, to at least know about it and allow whatever part of that you want to seep into your practice and into your awareness. So you're you're aware of water energy, and if you are fortunate enough ever again to play some push hands or something like that, to be able to utilize that in your in your practice and also to recognize that in another, and so that there's a you know, your ability to recognize someone who has like a lot of water energy is, uh, is very helpful in terms of, of countering that and to learn to be able to take that in. Because it, if, if um, I remember one time I was playing uh, with uh, Lindsay Williams, who was a very um, accomplished, uh, uh, super heavyweight uh, player. And and he did this push with me once and it's like it had that that quality to it that was like oh wow that's really remarkable really surprised me and i had no no idea what to do with that that particular um energy whenever whenever it first uh, hit me this was about you know, maybe 30 years ago but it was it was a uh, it was a a teaching moment for me so uh, uh learning to be able to practice that, not just in terms of your ability to execute it martially, but also to be able to carry that in your body as an awareness and just be able to feed off of that is a kind of a cool thing. So we're gonna begin with a, um, uh, a water meditation and building also off of the, what we talked about last week, the idea of way, 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 Wu Wei and Wei Wu Wei. So <laughs> the, um, uh, with, we have Wu Wei being not do. And it's that stillness that precedes the doing. And to be able to appreciate that stillness as its own thing and to be able to go into that gives you the power to uh, access your jin, to access that that internal power, that effortless power, that if you don't go to there, you're still kind of be, anything you're doing in Tai Chi is kind of be skimming along the surface. You're not really getting down into that, that deep place. So uh, let's, so we're gonna be doing that. So there's, there's that alternating between the Wu Wei, the stillness and the Wei Wu Wei, which is doing based in non-doing. And then the, the fun ensues. <laughs> 